Yeah. Yeah. Brings you to see anything up there was real old. I was I was not I saw one of those old electronic radio kits. Huh? I saw an old like electronic radio kit where it's like you put together the radio. But yeah. This thing is a uh, true tone, as the thing says. Greetings, YouTube, by the way. Um, I'm at my great-grandmother's house. I'm not telling you where that is, so piss off. And we are looking at an old true tone shortwave. Frequency in megacycles, by the way. Radio. I fold, I fiddled around a bit with this earlier. And I have no clue how... Oh. I have the clue what three of these knobs do. Three out of four, at least. There's four. One, two, three, four. For those of you who can't count. Leftmost knob. Volume. See? Volume is over here. Middle knob is your broadcast. Your top is your broadcast frequency. And here is like your uh, cycles. Or mega cycles, or whatever they're called. Knob number three. I have no clue what the hell this thing does. Pardon my French. Grandma, pardon my French. Pardon my bad French, by the way. And here on the lefty left, left, left on way, all the way on the right, this is like you're uh, adjusting the sound. Like the uh, bass, your treble, your tone. But yeah, this thing is relatively old and it belongs to an uncle. Um, here we can see all the little insidey bits. Here's your cathode tubes. Yes, those were a thing, people. Under the age of... Old. <laughs> uh, that made my grandma smile with that one. Um, I have no clue what this one that thing is. But like, yeah, this is... Like, this thing is older than me. Like, I would say 1950s, 19, 1940s, 1950s, Grandma? Huh? Could be. Yeah, I would say it looks like it's from the 20s, but like... RMA, I wonder what this is. Um, RMA, the model approved by RMA member Engineering, Inst Engineering Institute. But yeah, it has like the old wires in it and like the old, uh, hmm, I never noticed that. It looks like a uh, thing with like all the model. So series seven. Did you sweep all those bugs up upstairs. I got most of them, yeah. But like I was trying. Huh? Yeah, I was trying. I got most of them. Okay. Relatively good, most of them. But like some. But with like that one vacuum extension not working. That one right there. See it? Oh. It's a traitor. Um, I couldn't get all of them. But like, yeah, this one says it's a series seven D. And the speaker number is 2901. Maybe the speaker's from the future. Why don't you turn it around? Look at it. She's right. We can't turn around and get a better look. It'd be easy on it. <laughs> yeah, she's right. It's actually a lot easier. But yeah, this is like one of your old cathode tubes. Lots of dead bugs in here, but my grandma lives out in the countryside, so you can expect a lot of dead bugs. Just not, just no spiders. I actually swept all the spider eggs out. Ugh, hate spiders. But yeah, the one, the cathode tubes look like they're about ready to go though. So we need to get a replacement for those, I think. But yeah, <clears throat> thing says series seven D. Right there, and it's approved by the. This model approved by RMA Member Engineering Institute. Aerovox Dry Electrolytic Capacitor. Sounds like something you'd see around one of those sci fi movies, don't you think? Uh -huh. But yeah, this thing is old. These old things are super impressive. Like, this is from a time when things were. everything was made in America. Like, everything American made was made in America. Brain fart. Yeah, everything's made overseas. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think if we could go back to standard like this, 
we have so many more jobs in the United States. Because this is just a beautiful work of craft craftsmanship, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, you you worked in the shipyards in World War Two, right? Remember? Mm -hmm. You told me that. And Pap did, too, because he had back problems and he couldn't join the military. But yeah, I remember that uh, one picture of my Pap, of Pap that I saw, where it looked like it was... I mean, it was such a weird thing to see, like this, compared to, uh, like, the guy I knew. You know, like, when the short time I knew him, he was, like, this bit, always humble-looking guy. But, like, when I look at that picture, I imagine this, like... Big, cranky, longshoreman looking dock worker dude. Yeah. Who, uh, looks like if he would pick a fight with anybody just for, uh, just for looking at him funny. But, like, if I take, like, the image of the big longshoreman looking dude and combine it with the guy I knew, I get this guy who looks big and tough, but he's, like, super friendly too. Like, a really amazing friend. You know? Uh -huh. But yeah, so far. Yes, it plugged in. Yes, it is. Reach up there and get them bugs. All right. That's one there, one here, and there's one in the window. All right. Let me stop the recording.